morning. Happy Monday, December 19th. The cat has major zoomies, don't you? Ready? This is her. She actually does enjoy this. Ready? Go get Okay, now she's in the game. All right, so let's open some advents. We'll start with the Corner of Craft Chromatic Yarns Dungeons & Dragons calendar. Today's color name is Nintra Sciota. Nintra Sciota. Ooh, pretty. It'll go nicely with yesterday's Pass Without a Trace, which was very gray. Okay. I might be back on the anthology throw wagon. I don't know. We're going to wait for January to make a decision on that. Okay. Then December 19th from Dragon Horde's Stranger Things calendar. Chrissy, wake up. Wake up, Chrissy. Chrissy, wake up. It's not lying to focus. It says Chrissy, wake up. Uh oh. We're back to zoomies. She's got really big eyes. She's like charging all around. All right. Day 19 of Fangirl Fibers is Pound Puppies, which is one I never had. Pound Puppies. Yep, I see it. It's a little. It's got some like beige in it as well. There you go. You can see it right here. Some like tan. It's Pound Puppies. I'm trying to make them neat when I'm not using them. The ones we're gonna actually throw in the bag are Bumblebee Acres Return the King Calendar, day 19. Being bad at unwrapping. Okay. I am no man. Bro, I am no bro. I actually have a shirt that says I am no man. Yay, that's pretty. And accurate. I like it. Okay. Um, I am not going to say I can't believe it's December 19th, because I can believe it's December 19th. It's been a very long month. Uh, but here's good news. We have four days of school this week. Today in the morning, we are having the Cardinal Singers, which is our high school's a cappella group, come and do uh, carols and Christmas stuff, because they do it every year. So that'll be first hour, and then just a normal day and yeah just normal days i do have meetings on tuesday after school that's about it for after school obligations this week so yeah we just got to survive the days that's it um we're supposed to get snow today i think we're supposed to get snow wednesday thursday friday yeah watch we'll get all the snow on a day when like i don't have school anyway <laughs> so yeah, it'll basically be getting ready for Christmas stuff. I'm going to wrap some gifts tonight. We think everything has shipped and everything should be here this week. So we should be good to go for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go knit a little bit before I have to leave. And I'll check in with you guys later today. Hello, Gigi. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. She's such a good bean. Oh, good girl. Hello. It is 4 <laughs> 412 on Monday because um I was at school. Good day at school. No just you know, last week of break before break madness. Kids were overall relatively well behaved. For the most part. Yeah, busy day. Um, but as I was leaving school, we got a notification that we have, it's Monday. We have a winter storm watch for 6 a.m. Thursday till 6 a.m. Saturday. Possible blitz, and it's, what's weird is, okay, so this is my favorite way to explain Wisconsin. Wisconsin is kind of shaped like a hand. This is like the peninsula. This is like where Green Bay, this is like Lake Michigan, all that good stuff. Oh, well, actually, this is Lake Michigan. This is some, like, I think it's Winnebago. Anyway, not the point. So we live right around in here on my hand. Um, from here down is where the storm watches for. From here up is fine. So 
Uh, if it becomes a warning, there's a strong possibility I won't have school on Thursday, which is the last day before break. I, I guess? Maybe? Fingers crossed? It, wasn't, it won't affect our travel plans, but anyway, all that to say is that I ran, I was going to the grocery store anyway because we were having soup and grilled cheese for dinner because we were going to order Panera this weekend, but it was going to be $40 with delivery, so I went to the grocery store today and got the, like, at-home soups, and we're going to have soup and grilled cheese for dinner, but I also decided, hey, maybe you should stock up on some extra things to have in the house in case Indeed, on Thursday, they're talking blizzard conditions, they're talking 50 mile an hour wind gusts, they're talking like over six inches of snow. I don't think the snow is the problem, I think the wind is the problem, and they're like, it could be impossible travel. Can so, uh, playing my cards safe and just, playing my cards safe, is that a thing? Playing it safe and playing my cards right, I think those are the com words I was trying to combine. Anyway, got a bunch of extra stuff to tide us over in case we can't leave the house. Um, we do need to run errands tomorrow night, but tomorrow night's supposed to be, tomorrow's like supposed to be the nicest day of the week, like almost above freezing and sunny. So we'll shall see. Anyway, I got Happy Meal. Um, I didn't bring it over, but I got a midwinter berries tea and a D20 tea steeper from the Steeping Dragon, who I showed you tea from earlier in Vlogmas. I got a skein of yarn. So Karen sent me this and she's like, hey, I found this yarn dyer. And I'm like, I've never heard of this yarn dyer. So this is Bad Sheep Yarn. They are out of Alaska. And this is their Christmas Carol colorway. It is a 7525. So wash me and nylon, 462 yards of fingering weight, hand dyed in North Pole, Alaska. So I thought this was beautiful. I can't wait to cast this on. So that is Christmas Carol by Bad Sheep Yarn believe this was still on their website i'm not sure when they were taking it down that's bad sheep yarn there are things over there you can't see because i don't want to spoil things for children and then i got a new because lord knows i need more christmas bags but i got another bag from mary at ginger snap fibers this was the pink santa bag and then it has the yarn cozy which i am such a fan of these days so that will probably be, I don't know what's going to house my Christmas Eve cast on. I might have two Christmas Eve cast ons. I don't know. I'm just going to go insane and cast on all the socks as soon as the sock design for Christmas Eve is done. It's almost done. And then I have, I've made decisions that certain things are getting moved to different times for gifts because I don't want to go insane. And because Mary is a absolute gem, she sent me this. <laughs> she sent me this skein of yarn. And she wrote on my backing slip, uh, I have included a special yarn surprise this time because you deserve a gold medal for teaching in December. So thank you, Mary. I love it. <laughs> it's so nice. It's going to knit up real pretty too. These should be my gold medal socks and I'll wear them on really hard days in teaching land. Okay. So yeah, I was going to film the grocery store, but it was a little crazy because it is the Monday before Christmas and yeah. I got a lovely gift from one of my coworkers. She gives us jam on years where she yields jam from like her canning. So we have that. Um, picked up a Christmas gift from my brother-in-law. The last of my, si nope, that's a fib. I have, as, as is most years, I have a Christmas miracle gift that I'm waiting on. Thankfully it's coming from here in Wisconsin. And if it ships, like to, but here's my fear now. If we get like blizzard and we can't get mail, I'm pretty much screwed on that gift front. So we'll see. Would really like them because I'd like to be able to use them when we're at Christmas. Anyway, the cat is flopped over half asleep here on the floor. I've rambled at you for five solid minutes, and now I'm gonna go and knit on some socks because that's what I want to do. And not sock design socks. I just want to knit some string of light socks. So I'll knit one of these. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Let me grab something. Okay. So more rambling, but this is in my barley pearl advent bag that I got as a Christmas present, more or less from the lovely ladies at barley pearl. Let's talk about the needles. So on Friday, I got the, hold on. They're right here. The Knit Picks Options Interchangeable Lace Set. This is the Reflections Lace Set. I talked about these. They are stainless steel and they have a cable like Chiao Gu does except they're green. 
and I cast on a sock with them on Friday and I knit about this much. This is the Dead Marshes by Holly Press Fibers as a sock set. It's on her Sheepish base. I believe this is in her shop right now. Sheepish Sock. It's her 7525 Superwash Marine on Island. I'm very happy with these. So I don't know as much of a difference as far as swivel goes because I'm magic looping. So I'm not sure if that has much of an effect. I will probably eventually knit in the round with these like fully in the round and we'll see how that goes. But so far I'm really happy. My only, only complaint is this. Let me grab a tape measure real quick. So I have the four and five inch set of Chogu's. Uh, I have some of my Knitter's Pride Dreams in a five, all of them in five and some of them in a four. And most of my Knit Picks needles are in a five. I don't love four inch tips. Um, it has to do with how I hold my needles with my hands obviously with my hands. How I hold my needles, it um, sometimes gives me weird hand cramps because of how I position them in my hand. That was how I was trying to say that. So with the join to the cable, these needles are four and a quarter inches. So they're like just this much too short. And that's my only complaint. It's not like making my hands hurt or anything. It's just, I notice they're not as long. That is my only complaint so far. Um, the join is really smooth. You don't get stuff caught on it. The needles are really nice. The cable is really nice. I did have a little bit of like, there's some like boogers on them. I'm just like a manufacturing thing, but they're gone now. And yeah, they, it's giving me a nice, even fabric. These are really great. They're really light. I believe I read on their website that they're hollow. I don't know if Chowgoos are hollow, but they're definitely really light. Like I'm very happy with them so far. So like I said, I linked those down below on uh, the 16th. Um, I'll link them again in this episode if I remember. But these are out of stock until the end of January. They do have the larger sizes. They have them in fixed circulars in 16 inch. And I believe they have some of like, you can get tips and cords. But this specific set is out of stock until January. Again, not sponsored. Bought these with my own money. Really like them. Would not lead you astray when it comes to needles. Um, after Vlogmas, I believe I'm getting a set of needles for Christmas. I will also review those, review those for you. I'll let you know how I like those as well uh, when I podcast between Christmas and Vlogmas ending and then New Year's. I'm going to try and get one done over break to just kind of talk about the year and plans for 2023. I don't like to plan my knitting very far in advance, but yeah. Okay, that's enough rambling. I'm going to go get out of my jeans and put on some comfy pants, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>